to lower the risk of diet and lifestyle-related premature degenerative diseases, and to advance human nutrition research, relative bile acid binding potential of foods needs to be evaluated, since if bile acids are absorbed back into the system, they may increase cancer risk. Some vegetables bind bile acids better than others. We know that those eating plant-based diets are at lower risk for heart disease and cancer, which could in part be because of phytonutrients in plants that act as antioxidants and potent stimulators of natural detoxifying enzymes in our bodies. They can also lower cholesterol and detoxify harmful metabolites, functions that can be predicted by their ability to bind bile acids so as to remove them from our body. This group of researchers discovered three important things. First, an over five-fold variability in bile acid binding among various vegetables that had similar fiber content, indicating that the bile acid binding is not necessarily related to the total dietary fiber content, but instead to some combination of unique phytonutrients yet to be determined. Second, they found that steaming significantly improves the bile acid binding of collards, kale, mustard greens, broccoli, peppers, and cabbage, as well as beets, eggplant, asparagus, carrots, green beans, and cauliflower, suggesting steaming vegetables may be more healthful than those consumed raw. And finally, they determined which vegetables kicked the most bile-binding butt. Turnips turn up last. Then comes cabbage, cauliflower, bell pepper, spinach, asparagus, and green beans, beaten out by mustard greens and broccoli then basically tying for the number five slot, eggplant, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. Then coming in as the number four best bile binder, collard greens. And then left we have beets, kale, and okra left in the running. Any guesses as to number one? Kale only gets the bronze. Kale surprisingly got beet. Beets get the gold. Inclusion of all these vegetables in our daily diets should be encouraged. Uh, both papers ended basically the same way. Our two leading killers are to a large extent preventable by appropriate diet and lifestyle modifications, such as eating these vegetables which, when consumed regularly, may lower the risk of premature degenerative diseases and improve public health.